Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavan here with a look at your tropical update. We do these updates every night, roughly around 8 o'clock, just to give you uh, an idea of what's going on and keep you in the loop with the tropics here as we make our way through the peak of hurricane season. And we've got a brand new name system today. So we are on the J names. This is Tropical Storm Jerry. As of the 7 p.m. advisory winds at 50 miles per hour, this thing is racing uh, to the west right now at about 25 miles per hour. It will keep on that westward movement before eventually turning more northwesterly as we get into tomorrow. And then by Thursday afternoon, Jerry will make a close brush with the northern leeward islands before making that turn to the north and then eventually to the north and east out to sea away from land. But this could become a Category 2 hurricane by the time we get towards Thursday and Friday. Besides that, there's actually a small area that we're watching in the southern Gulf, in the Bay of Campeche. 10% chance of developing in the next two days, if that. Um, I don't even think this should have a, a probability for development. And the reason is this system is going to run out of real estate. It's going to make its way across the bay and then into Mexico, and it's not going to turn into anything. It'll be a big rainmaker uh, for the west coast of Mexico here, but uh, rather the east coast of Mexico. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So here it is on Future Track. Again, a lot of rain here uh, off the Yucatan Peninsula. This makes its way across the Gulf. And then, boom, by Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, it's back over land. So that's why. Perfect. So I can need a white screen and then the green screen, please. Uh, after this one, yeah. <coughs> Thank you. All fronts become more frequent through October and November. And as those fronts come in, they bring us cooler weather. They also push the jet stream farther south. And so when systems tend to develop here in the Caribbean or the Gulf or off the East Coast, they interact with that jet stream and with those cold fronts and they get swept out to sea. They get pushed to the east and away from the United States. And so as we get deeper and deeper into the uh, fall months, United States landfalls become less and less likely. That said, though, we are still on guard as we go through probably the next month or so after we get into November. That's when things really start to wind down. The peak of the season, though, is September 10th. We're about a month removed from that. And you can see we're really far down the graph here. We keep on watching, though. We've got two systems out there, like I mentioned. Jerry, which we'll go out to sea. The other feature we're watching is just going to move its way across the Bay of Campeche and then eventually into central Mexico. And we will stay quiet here at home. That's the latest. We'll have another update on the forecast coming up on the KHOU 11 News at 10 o'clock.